Hey there campers, it's Barry here with Southern RV and behind me we just took delivery of a brand new Rockwood Ultralight 2608 BS. This is a front kitchen model. So it's got a lot of cool features. We're going to start on the outside and take a look at some of them and then move to the inside of the camper. Let's get right into it. All right, so when we first take a look at the outside of this camper, we notice that it's got this nice large awning that runs all the way across it. It's got two entry doors up front. And notice that both of our entry doors have solid step entry. So that's kind of a big deal. Most of the time you don't get two solid step entries. You get a standard fold out stair and a solid step on the main entry. This has a molded front cap with a rock guard down low. And notice that we've got an automotive grade windshield up here too. So that is gonna peek into that front kitchen that we were talking about earlier. This unit does have a electric tongue jack and it's set up to where it has this nice big battery box here now that battery box is capable of holding two batteries not just one we do have electric stabilization jacks those are run at the touch of a button you'll find them right over the existing jacks you can see it running there it's kind of cool i'll run it back down there is some storage up front and on the opposite side, because this is a front kitchen model, it doesn't pass all the way through. One thing that they do have here is a side rail on the outside of the camper. They have a table attachment as well as a grill attachment. And if we look up underneath, you'll see our propane quick connect for the grill. Notice that this is an enclosed underbelly and it's running on torsion axles instead of leaf springs. That's gonna provide a nice smooth ride. All of the windows on this unit are gonna be frameless. That has a very good look to it. There's exterior speakers. There's a spot here for an exterior TV mount with all the power, along with another one of those rails for hooking up accessories. As we move to the back side here, right by one of the entrance doors, we notice that we have an outside shower. I really like this because it's great. It's a great position for it because you can really rinse off your feet if you're dirty or you have a dirty dog. Makes it quick and easy before hopping up into the camper. On the back side, we notice that we do have a full ladder that goes up to a walkable roof. All of our connections are back here as well. So notice that we have all of our city water connections here as well as cable and satellite in. This is equipped with a two inch receiver hitch. That's gonna be for bike racks, cargo racks, things like that. It's not actually built for towing. It has a 300 pound capacity. This particular unit is 50 amp service. And as we pull to the off-door side, we notice that we have two slides here and they're both equipped with slide awnings or slide toppers as some people like to call them to keep the debris from piling up on top. There's a little bit more storage that leads up under the bed in the back bedroom here. And you can see how everything's framed out in aluminum here as well. Let's push on into the inside. All right, so as we head into the unit, I wanna take notice one thing about these particular solid steps. Let me open the door here. Is that they are on a strut assist. That's what this is right here. And that's gonna make these really easy to lift up and down. So it's not gonna take a lot of effort. You can see they kind of stay up on their own. You have to physically push them down to get them in the down position. And they have these adjustable legs here to accommodate for uneven floors or heights. Let's hop up in there. Now 
Okay, so the first thing we see as we come through the door is that we are inside the living room kitchen area. As I was saying outside, this is a front kitchen model. Just inside the door, we have this closet area here. This could double as a pantry or a coat closet. It just depends on how you want to use it. As you can see, we've got some coat rack style hangers there and some removable shelving. So the way that you configure it is up to you. Directly across from our TV, we have our recliner system. Now this recliner does have an electric lumbar support and it actually has a really cool feature that I saw earlier as I was kind of exploring this unit. Hit this little button and you've got power and USB right there by your cup holder. So if you're sitting there on your mobile phone, it's no big deal to charge it up. There's lots of great windows, overhead cabinetry for storage. We have a booth dinette that can double as a second bed if needs be. Pushing into the kitchen, we see that we've got plenty of cabinetry and storage all the way around. There is a sink cover that's going to be over that sink. That's going to aid in adding counter space as well as creating like a drying station for dishes and whatnot. Our three burner stove has a glass cover on it that can also add to counter space as well. Just flip that over and down. Down below that, we do have an oven. And up above it, we have our microwave. Just to the right there, we have a gas electric refrigerator from Dometic. And as I was saying earlier, our theater seating is straight across from our entertainment center. There's a nice flat screen on the wall. There's a little buffet space here and power in case you wanted to hook up any accessories. And then down low, we've got an electric fireplace. Great for show and for heat. Uh, the electricity on or the electric fireplace here can put out a fair amount of heat in mild cold weather. As we push to the back of the camper, notice we have two doors. The one on the left is going to go into the restroom. The one on the right is going to go into the bedroom. Our restroom is a pass through here. We have a foot flush toilet, a decent sized sink with some storage and a medicine cabinet and a glass enclosure shower. We'll look at it from the other side to see that there's more storage on the left here. We'll push into the bedroom here. The bed is on a slide, making it an east-west bed. It sits directly across from a good-sized closet with some chest of drawers down low. There's some small nightstands on either side of the bed. And on the outside of the slide you'll notice that we have yet another little stand and it's got some power there there's some 110 outlets as well as usb there's some great little led reading lights up above those are going to be nice to flip on at night if you just want to sit up with very little light in the room as we mentioned earlier the bathroom is a pass-through you see the better shot here of that glass enclosure shower and we notice that we have two nice deep tall cabinets that can store towels and linens and things of that nature. So there's plenty of storage in this unit for sure. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that they did put storage up under the bed as well. It's on struts, it has a handle, it's easy to lift, and there's drawers that pop out as well if you don't want to lift the bed up. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of this front kitchen Rockwood that we just recently received. We haven't put a link up yet because we haven't even officially put it into our system. So that's how new this unit is. If you want to come out and see it in person, feel free. We are at 324 Industrial Boulevard here in McDonough, Georgia. Or you can visit us online at southernrv.com. Until next time, happy RVing.